welcome back to the channel and we got a post game here of the Edmonton Oilers in Winnipeg and it was I gotta say a pretty good game till the third period where it became more of a roller coaster game for the Edmonton Oilers as they walk away out of Winnipeg with two points taking the game 4-2 and that is huge as that puts us one point behind Vegas three points behind Calgary as of right now with Calgary still playing tonight and two points ahead of LA with LA still having to play Phoenix tonight there but this game the Oilers weathered a you know a first two three minutes of the first period a storm where Winnipeg came out and ultimately from there to the start of the third period the Edmonton Oilers dominated the Winnipeg Jets as they would score three unanswered in the first two periods now let's get to the scoring summary and the plays of the game and who stood out for me as like I said the Edmonton Oilers went 4-2 to two. Mika Koskinen sa saving 22 of 24 shots for the win in the first period it was Zach Hyman off of a beautiful tip from a point shot by Tyson Berry and secondary assist goes to Connor McDavid then Yamamoto on a great fee, like a great play, exiting the zone, tips it up to McDavid. McDavid back to Yamo, saves his first shot. Hellebuck saved his first shot on the backhand. But if you watch that replay, it almost looks like Yamo on the rebound hits it out of the air and goes top corner to score his 10th of the year, assisted by McDavid there. Then McDavid would get. A nut, one on a four on four a beautiful no look pass by Leon Dreisaitl who arguably is the best backhand passer in the game today uh, secondary assist goes to Tyson Berry pretty well game there you know they were out shooting them they outshot the Jets 40 to 22 today but then Adam Lowry would score on a short handed goal there on a breakaway the second breakaway of that four minute man advantage for the Edmonton Oilers and then Kyle Connor four minutes later would score a power play goal and that one you can't both of those goals aren't on Miko Koskinen at all it is what it is and then with three seconds left in the game Darnell Nurse shoots the puck down the ice open net and that's ultimately the end of the game Ice is it for them into Oilers. So back to Miko Koskinen. The shorthanded stuff. Two shorthanded breakaways in a matter of two minutes was not Miko Koskinen's fault. I'm uh, going to put the blame on Tyson Berry on both of those as he pinched up both times, got beat, couldn't get back. And ultimately one did go in where Koskinen had it except for he was pushed. He slid too far back and rolled in the net and of course the power play goal you can't blame Koskinen it's Kyle Connor one timing from where Drysdale does you know he got a huge chunk of it but with as hard of a shot Connor has he you can't blame him for that but you know without Pooley RV Yamamoto gets the nod to go to that top line and ultimately since Pooley RV got injured he has been really good on that line for the four and a half periods he's played with McDavid and Hyman. And that line's starting to get going as the captain had three points tonight. And then the third line played really good. No goals, but, you know, that's fine. You're not going to score every game as a third line. You're there to cause havoc, and they did that. They did really good. Uh, this game was really defensive. Marcus Niemelin, and what can we say? He's going to turn out to be a fan favorite in Edmonton. The hitting, he lines people up, and the support he has to go hit is phenomenal. Dave Manson has been doing a lot with these young defensemen, and it's showing. Now, my thing is, kind of off topic here, what's going to happen to this decor when... Chris Russell returns from injury. That's going to be a shocker. I'm not too sure 
what's going to happen. But Perlini had a pretty good game. Benson was all around the puck. He had a good game. It was a good team effort. You know, some shaky parts during the game. But when a team gets momentum, it can't always be your team. The other team's going to get momentum here and there. And it's just going to be that way for the game, how it goes. But anyway, that is the game as your Edmonton Oilers improved to 10-2-1 in their last 13 games. We are in a playoff race like no tomorrow. Take it day by day. We will be back tomorrow in Edmonton as they take on the Minnesota Wild. That is a 6 o'clock mountain start. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you later.